Um, the council needed funding from the Heritage Lottery Trust and the only way they could get it was to involve schools around the area and they thankfully picked our school and that started us on the journey. Uh, the wartime Bridgend Day was an organised event by Bridgend Council to represent World War II in Bridgend. The History Club had been running a rationing stall. And it was really good like talking to people um, about like rationing, mostly kids because they came along and they obviously don't really know a lot of these uh, certain experiences and so they, they look upon it's like what you don't eat bananas it's like yeah they weren't there. It was very busy that day. Like the atmosphere of it was immense. It was very informative as well because even us running the stall we were learning things as well. Part of the training we got for this project was going to the local reference library uh, with lots of the photographs and um, historical artifacts were kept for Wales. So we ended up doing four drop-in days over the course of several weekends across several months during term time and during these drop-in days we would invite members of the public who had perhaps memories from a grandparent or from their parents or they themselves from Bridgend during the wartime of more specifically the armory or island farm or warship week the kind of things we were focusing in on uh, or stormy down and we wanted them to come up and share their memories because Bridgend is very strongly tied to the British war, war effort but it's forgotten in the greater scheme thing. The drop-in days were days when we uh, talk to elders about um, what like the stories of World War II and it was such great things because you find funny like happy stories in such like a like dark time. Collecting all history is especially important because it helps, well, remember and make a record of family histories and family stories which haven't been written down. The older people in our society to like just talk, let their feelings out and um, do what they wouldn't normally have um, be able to do as such with um, younger people like us. This would have been the first time that Bridgen's history has actually been recorded. So it was a fun little thing to take yeah. part in. We also had this other training day. When we were go, um, we on a school trip, um, we got people together and we went to visit two um, museums. Uh, we were able to actually like dress up and just see what type of clothing they would wear back in those times. And um, it was really quite interesting because um, there were different uniforms, but there were also just casual wears in like what the men and women would wear. I've learned a lot from that museum and going to other museums, I really appreciate like how much work goes into them and how important they are for younger generations to understand what has happened and what not to do in the future. The memorial here commemorates 52 other um, soldiers locally sourced in Brinterian. For Brinterian, it's important to remember those who've fallen, so we felt it best that we create a memorial my final opinion on the project is that it's something that is very good and we should do it lo like with loads of schools and um, because it helps students get better at being a historian and also um, makes kids get new opportunities and then like have fun.